Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the Pile Digital Multifunction Sports Watch. Now some people out there might be wondering what a watch has to do with survival. Well, you know, I saw this watch on um, Amazon and I thought to myself, you know, it's a nice looking watch of course, but I mean, you know, as much as I wanted it, how could I work it into my survival and my preparedness? And then I saw all it did and it was like, well that's real easy. <laughs> so. This watch is kind of similar to what you might find in other sports watches, like say the Sun 2 Core. Um, I'm sure the Sun 2 Core is far and beyond, you know, it's definitely more expensive and probably has a few more features. But uh, this works well for me. You know, this is about the right price range that I'm looking to spend out for a watch. And it just seems to be the right thing for me. So, we're going to go over the watch real quick in a second here. Let me get this out of the way. So that was the only way I could find to prop it up. I'm going to give you a little look at the, uh, the face. There we go. Now this watch does a bunch of different things. It does altimeter, barometer, chronograph, compass, and a weather forecast. And it's got your typical EL, the electroluminescent backlight. It's got the graphical display for altitude, sea level, um, maximum, minimum altitude. You can do that. It records it for 34 days of internal memory. Um, and it does dual time. It's got an alarm system in it. It's got the hourly tones if you want it, or an alarm. It's got a power saving low mode. So if you want to save power on it, you just push and hold that. And I believe that's the button. And it will go dark. There. See? When you want it, any button turns it back on. Okay? And it does everything else that a watch should do, as well as your barometer, and it has a compass. And that's the neat part. That's really why I bought this watch, for the compass mode. Now, I'm going to show you the modes real quick. That's your temperature up top. It's hard to display this on it. Up top there is the temperature, okay? Now that temperature works really great if you're going to carry this on a bandolier or something or, you know, a, a, a strap. Um, if you put it against your body, it's going to get pretty close to your body's temperature. To get out of that mode, just push it again and it'll tell you the time of the day. Of course, you have your time and date. And if you go through here, that's your alarm, number one. This is your countdown, your chronograph, I'm sorry. That's your countdown. And it starts with, a you know, the default is an hour. So if you want to count down from an hour and it will go off and you can set that to whatever you want it to be and that's your time, your second time, this is your time, second time zone I set it for East Coast time I'm on the West Coast so I figured that's kinda handy and we're back to normal now I'm going to show you the other modes and I really hope this comes out better than I'm seeing on the monitor here but you'll get the idea at least um, right here's your compass mode I'm going to try and get that to move There you go, see? It's always pointing south. And they say to calibrate this when you get it. Mine was calibrated right out of the box and pointed perfectly. Next over here is your uh, altimeter. Shows we're at 2325 here, which is probably pretty close to what we are. I know at the peak of town it's like 2588 or something. And, again, excuse the camera bump there. You can do a graphical display of that. It shows you where I've been highest and lowest depending on where I've been. Or go back to that. Next one. That is... There we go. Your barometer, 29.75. And again, this has a graphical display. There. So you can see where it's been up and down. And it will rotate between the two. And you're back to your compass again. And if you want to get back to the time you go right there. One thing I did want to interject here in the middle is that this comes with a very functional user's manual. And you can see the model number there. Uh, this thing is really handy and it's not, you know, in the typical half English, half Chinese. Very easy to read, very easy to program. So I just wanted to interject that here really quick before we carry on. 
So anyway, it's a nice looking watch. Comes in a bunch of different colors on the outside here. Um, I chose yellow, believe it or not, because it was cheapest. Uh, it's blue, black, silver. They have a bunch of different uh, different types. And um, with something like this, you also have a little weather forecast up in the corner here. This is going to be really hard to see up here. You'll notice it's a cloud with a sun, so that's going to be, I'm assuming, a little cloudy and sunny today, which it is outside. So, all in all, I'm pretty pleased with it. You know, I've been using it for about hmm, four or five days now. It's been very accurate. I haven't had any problems with it. The only accuracy issues I've had with it was keeping it um, on my body with the temperature. You know, it gets pretty close to your body temperature if it's on all day. But once you take it off, it comes right down into range. And that can be pretty much gotten to at any point right by pushing that button there, showing 77.5, which is pretty accurate for the garage because it's at 78 on my other one. So that's it. That's the Pile Digital Multifunction Sports Watch. Um, I believe these sell for around anywhere from $28 to $40, depending on the color, depending on the seller. I'm going to put a link in the description below where um, I picked this up from. And you can go and check them out and see if you like it. Um, for the price, it sure beats spending four or $500 for another type of watch similar to this. Uh, you know, for going out and banging around in the desert and hiking and stuff like that. So I'm pretty pleased with it. I'll report back if I have any problems with it, but I don't think I will. For those not familiar, um, in my, I want to say my other life, I was into DJing and I was quite the audiophile and Pyle makes some very good high-end um, audio equipment. As a matter of fact, on the box, which is what really got me, it says Pyle Audio down there on the bottom. So it's a pretty well-known company. It's not, you know, a fly-by-night type deal. And uh, it's worked very well for me so far. So just, you know, I mean, being able to have a compass on your arm at all times, being able to set the barometer alarm, so if the barometer drops quickly beyond a certain amount of points, it'll tell you a storm is coming. Now, I mean, of course, you could look outside and say, whoa, there are a lot of clouds, a storm's coming. But this will sense it for you as well. And, you know, just the countdown timer, your alarm, your weather forecast up here, which is kind of handy if you don't happen to be outside at the moment. It's just a handy little tool to have, and for the price, you can't beat it. So, as I said, this is the Pile Digital Multifunction Sports Watch, and I want to thank you guys for watching, and we will talk to you soon.